We've now created every aspect of our featured screen, except for the bar that's going to run along the bottom that will serve as our navigation. Now, we could go into each individual course and edit the image and the description so they each have unique content. Now, this would just be more busy work, so I don't want to do that. We can go ahead and just do it for one, and I'm just going to open up my reference layer and grab one of these images. Let's grab the first one. Let's also zoom in a little bit to 200. Let's just do this really quickly just to see how we would do it. So we can grab this image with a marquee tool and let's cut it out. Make sure we have the reference layer selected. Make sure that's selected and we'll cut this out. And whoops, let's go ahead and put this back down really quickly. Come back to our content. We need to hide the reference layer very quickly. Open up topper, open up course one, which is the course we're trying to replace and double click top image. Okay, there. Now let's come back here, reshow our reference layer. Make sure the reference layer is selected. We're gonna cut this out one more time. And let's just paste it in here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, it automatically fits right in. So if I were to file save, we're obviously gonna notice that now when we hide our reference layer, great, we have our course. Uh, correspondingly, we could change the text and the, the price and even change the, the stars if we needed to. Um, I don't want to do that. That's just busy work. One other thing we can do, and if we pull up our reference layer, we notice that there's a bit of a drop shadow here. And you can't really see it because some of the guides are there, but let's go into about 500%. You see that there's this little shadow below each box, and it runs up along the side, and then it's on the left side as well. So let's add that really quickly. And it's not gonna be as simple as selecting the entire box because we have two layers and if we were to apply a drop shadow to each of those, it would look like two separate shadows. So what I want to do is come to my course one and I'm going to grab my content layer and my top image layer. And I'm gonna make sure both those are selected with my move tool, I'm going to drag these out and into a new layer. Now we've done this before. Let's drag it right back in. Okay, and we're going to put it right there. So now we have a duplicate layer. I want to right click and merge these layers and I'm going to click merge layers. Essentially that just turned them into one and I'm going to call this shadow. Let's move this below the other two and this shadow is essentially just going to be blank content but it's going to have the drop shadow for both elements. So if we double click the layer on the right side and we come down in our styles options, let's find drop shadow and let's hit OK. And I need to go ahead and change our hide our reference layer so we can see this. And then you'll see we just got this, this big drop shadow when we came over here and selected it. So that's it. Without it, if we click drop shadow, we have this huge drop shadow. That's obviously not what it looks like. So let's change this distance and let's bring this into closer to four pixels. We'll change the size to, let's try 10. Mm. 10 looks about right. I'm going to turn off use global light. And let's change this color. It's not quite that dark. It's more of a light gray shadow right there. Perfect. Now you'll notice that we have it along the left side. If we zoom in, the shadows here, but we need more shadow on this left side, even though there's a little bit. And we can do this by, let's zoom back out. We can duplicate our content one more time, our shadow layer and I'm gonna hit Control J. I'm gonna name this Shadow, and it really doesn't matter too because we're gonna merge these layers again. And I'm gonna double click my drop shadow and we're gonna change this angle. Right now it's at 120 degrees, meaning it's pointing down into the right. Let's make this point down into the left. And if you drag over in this right corner area and hold Shift, it'll automatically go to 45. 
And there, we see that it's applied that bottom left shadow as well. Let's hit OK. Now let's grab our shadow two and holding shift, grab our shadow one and merge these layers. There we go. I'm gonna rename it shadow. And we've just created that, that, that subtle drop shadow that, that actually really makes each course pop.